Hi, this is Robert Polinick, the owner of Brutal Iron Gym. In today's video, I wanted to show you kind of a fun superset I'm doing for lat strength. So back development, but specifically for the lats. It coincides with actually today in our, our podcast, we did a podcast about lat engagement in the squat bench and deadlift. So at the end of this video, I'll share an image that shows the podcast number in the link. But definitely check that out if you want to learn more about uh, how having strong lats, actually being able to use them in the squat bench and deadlift. So today's technique is actually to get the lats to be stronger, but I'm also going to get some growth out of this due to the time under tension and the muscular damage. So it's kind of a two for one, getting stronger and bigger. So behind me is actually our cable CD row. There you go. And I have a narrow overhand grip selection. So I'll show you that. So this handle is from the company Maximum Advantage Grip. And I'm going to be using kind of this angled overhand position. What I like about this position is it helps to stretch the lats out quite a bit when you're at full extension. So it's a really good way to open up the muscle and make sure that you're getting a stretch in the muscle. At the same time, you're getting kind of a pump effect. So this one is big full range of motion, big stretch. And then paired with it, we'll show you on this white machine next to me, is an isometric hold with the lats. So awesome combination to do big full range of motion paired with an isometric hold. Uh, one allows you to kind of get big full range of motion, a lot of muscle development, uh, muscle damage development. And then the isometric hold is really good for kind of static holding strength, which would be what we would need in the squat bench and deadlift. So a little fun crossover between bodybuilding and kind of strength training. Okay, so on this row, I'm gonna go ahead and do a set. And what I'm typically looking for here is yeah, somewhere between 6 and 12 reps, depending on the day. If I want to focus more on bodybuilding, I'll do 12. If I want to focus more on strength development, I'll do down towards 6. You can also just do a set of, you know, 12, 10, 8, 6. You can play around with it however you want. So, the big thing when we're doing a seated rows is I'm going to be leaning forward on this motion so that way I get a really big lat stretch. But as I drive back and squeeze, I'm not going to be kind of like throwing my body with it. So the goal is to sit forward get a stretch, I drive my shoulders back, drive my elbows back, and I get a really good squeeze in my back, which you'll be able to see. But the idea is I'm making sure that my shoulders are what's moving, but not my core. I'm not going to throw myself forward and backward. So we'll go ahead and do a sit. The idea of showing you the back is just so you can see the musculature involvement that's happening. Okay. So good stretch. So that was good. So that was my set of 10. Now what we'll do is we'll set up for the isometric hold. Now, I'll typically do these pretty pretty quick back to back. I'm gonna have a little more talking right now because I wanna show you what's going on. But when you do this yourself, make sure you set them up uh, kind of back to back um, aggressively with time rest. So that way you don't waste time and you maximize the stimulus. So what I have here, as you can see, our pull up handle. I have ab straps and I'm gonna be using the knee pads to help kind of lock myself in place. The goal of this movement is I want to maximize my lat hold, so my isometric hold. So when I'm doing this, I'm going to make sure that my shoulders aren't lifted towards my ears. They're pulled down and held. But I'm also going to contract my abs as a way to further the stress load of this movement. So this is just a static hold somewhere between 5 and 20 seconds. Again, if I'm focusing on a lighter bodybuilder day, I'll go to 20. If it's a heavy stimulus, specifically towards strength, I'll keep it down towards the 5. Again, you don't have to be exclusive. You can do a, you know, a 20, 15, 10, 5, something like that. So we're going to put our hands on here. Now, I'm going to get my shoulders already, instead of being up like this, I'm going to have them down and locked in place with my lats. So now you can't see my hands, but I'm not going to be grabbing the straps, I'm just going to put my hands next to them, so I'm not using my biceps or anything, it's all my lats. Then I'm going to hook myself underneath and flex my abs. Okay. 
My Azure Lens. That's tight. Good. Okay. So, what I would typically do is a couple sets of that back and forth. So, you can see the rows. I did 12. On this one, I held as long as my abs would hold. And then I finished it out with a lat hold. So, don't cut yourself short and when the abs give up, just give up the whole movement. Let your abs extend, but keep the lats down and try to get extra time under tension. So awesome combination. Again, you get full range of motion, uh, muscle contraction, eccentric, uh, great stimulus for growth in muscle damage. Then we also have the isometric hold, which is still muscle damage because the muscles are trying to fire to hold themselves and some of the uh, structures of the fossil fiber are going to like kind of snap and it has the muscle elongates, which is great micro damage for growth. Plus isometric hold is just a heavier version. You can usually do something stronger in isometric position than you can in a concentric eccentric. So it's good to kind of pair those back to forth, get maximized full damage out of the muscle. And then isometric holds just like we would for a bench press squat and deadlift. Awesome combination. Have fun with it. If you uh, please check out the podcast for more information, they'll be following the video. If you ever need anything from us, our email is brutalironjim at gmail.com. Okay, thanks for watching.